Good day, lords and ladies, and welcome back to Medieval Knights, the channel that brings you the best in less plays, tips and trick videos, and live streams coming soon. I am TJ West, and thank you for joining me on this Medieval Dynasty Let's Play number three. And as you notice, it is daytime. It is morning time. I did sleep. I got some feedback that it is hard to see at night, so I decided to go ahead and start this one where we have already slept through night two. So we're starting day three now. And what we're gonna do today is we're looking for maple trees so that way we can start our resource storage. And maple trees, once you, once you knock down a couple, you have to walk a little bit for the next set. They don't grow in large chunks like the birch ones do and the uh, pine trees do. So you do gotta try to look for them. And the resource storage is 10 logs. So that is our goal. And that's four of them. And now I'm not gonna pick up these logs. I'm already overweight as you can see in the bottom left so I'm gonna head back over here I'm going to drop the ones that we do have and I'm going to actually drop off some more some of these things into the chest in the house just so that way it doesn't weigh us down and it does look like we might need another axe before all is said and done, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop the logs right now. And there's four of them there, and then I'm gonna drop off some stuff in here. But I'm gonna craft another axe before I drop the, the sticks and the rocks off in here, so we're gonna go here and go to the axe. There we go. So now we have a replacement for when that one breaks. Now we're gonna drop the leather off. We don't need the rocks anymore. And we don't need the sticks right now. So there we go. And that's gonna free up some weight. And now if we use inspector mode, we can find where, once we get closer to it, we can find the logs that we left. And see, there we go. And that'll take us back to where we were harvesting those trees at. And so inspector mode does take stamina, so uh, if you're using it and sprinting, it'll take your stamina down at twice the rate. So we already had four over there, that's four more there. And we are gonna need more than that for the total build. So we're gonna try to do, try to cut down more trees than we need. Cause we can always stack those up by our house until we get the woodshed or just stack them up in the resource storage. And that's going to keep our people warm in winter time when we finally start bringing people in. So here's this. And the woodshed is a very important building. And throughout these let's plays, you're going to see me building multiple. So for today, we are just focusing on the resource storage. And I'm going to place it next to the food storage. But on the right hand side of it, if I'm looking at it, there was tree stumps there. So I think I'm going to place it on the left side here. And I'm going to keep them close to each other. Let me see if I have enough now. Yeah, we'll have 12, I think. Yeah. So, that's way overburdening us, though. We're going to drop the sticks that we have for now and possibly two logs. So, one, two. And then we're going to go ahead and place the resource storage and then pick those back up. So, we have enough. We're going to go here, here. And then here. And there. And there we go. And now we need to pick these up. And as you notice, we need straw for the roof. We need logs. We need logs for the interior here. Uh, we need sticks and logs for the walls here. And this is just resource storage ones. So the better the tier, once we get up to resource storage 2, the better the material we will have to use. So for now we're going to grab some sticks and straw from here. Since we have them. 
and we're just gonna build as much as we can on this with the materials we already have. We're going to collect more when we go to knock down the trees to take up what we need for the logs. Since we don't have any extra, we do have to go cut down the trees for that. But this is going to help us out a lot to where as soon as we cut down the tree, bring the logs over and put it together, it'll be done. Oh, I lost a uh, hammer there. And I need to cut down a tree for it. So we need to craft ourselves another hammer. I'm just going to come over here and cut down a birch tree. I, I've said it in the previous videos, but in a couple of years, they'll just grow back as long as you don't remove the stumps, so... It's okay to use this wood early on. And there's that, and that. Okay, there's the hammer there. And now I think I'm gonna have to go back through and reset this in the quick slot, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. And we're just gonna put in eight. I usually try to keep the hammer in quick slot eight just because it's at the very end of it. If I need my weapons and whatnot, it's at the start. It usually goes uh, my two weapons and then my water canteen when we finally get to it, etc, etc. Or whatever I'm doing at that time. Okay. Well, that sucked. There we go. Go over here. Three, two, there. And that's it for the straw. And that's it for the sticks. That's it for those sticks. There's that. And I'm running out of stamina. <laughs> Alright, we gotta wait for a moment. And it does take quite a bit of sticks and materials to start with for these buildings. But that's pretty much what I spend the whole first year on. It's just getting these built and then earning some money enough to unlock the technology I need to continue moving forward. And then just making sure I do a lot of the quests as well. That way I can continue building because the more of the chapter quests that you complete, the farther along you can get and the more buildings you can build. And that helps you increase your villager number two. Because if you can't build them a house, they're not going to join your village. So, all right, we need more sticks and logs and all of that. So now we need to come out here and chop a bunch of trees down. So I don't technically call it deforestation because we're not taking the stumps. It'll come back. So I think it's just uh, uh, borrowing the wood, maybe. I don't know. There's a level in extraction. Look at that. So we're going to go to skills and for extraction, again, we're going to go extraction knowledge. So we get more skill points per, per level. Every time we extract something, we'll get more skill points. All right. So there's that. And now we're going to do the same to this tree. And I'm not sure exactly how many logs we're going to need. So I think we need to cut down one more. So there's that, and I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some of these while we're over here. And that is falling, there we go. All right, there's that, and that. And now I'm gonna switch to the hammer using the mouse wheel. I don't know if you caught it, I kinda did that pretty quickly. And we're going to do that there. I accidentally hit that in the middle there. But that's okay. We had extras left over anyway. So there's that. We're going to put two in here. Just so that way we did it. And then we can go back and get some more. And there's that one. And as you can see, I'm using inspector mode sparsely. And what that means is I might look in it just for a moment. And then I get right back out of it. So once I see where the logs that I'm looking for are, I will go ahead and leave that screen and then sprint to them. That way I'm not consuming twice the stamina that I normally would. 
so there's that in with the sticks there's eight more oh that one broke too so now we need to go chop down another tree so here's this and this should get us pretty close to completion there all right we're gonna let that fall and then plus six sticks all right we might need to pick up a couple more on the ground on our way back so there's some uh, there's one two three all right let's go ahead and see how we're doing I do need to go ahead and make a wooden hammer I believe I have enough so let's go ahead and make that and now I got I need to equip it again like I said it's kind of annoying but you get used to it after a while having to re-equip things if you forget to make another one before it breaks but I always forget to just look down there at that the durability bar on it and it really does end up bugging me quite a bit but eventually I'll get to the point to where I can just run to my resource storage and grab another one and then go about my business so we do still need a few more sticks I'm just gonna grab some off the ground here to try to finish it up really quick and we do need a few more logs so I will need to chop down a tree or two so we're just gonna chop down this one And like I said, these trees don't really matter right now. They're not going to affect my build. And eventually we may end up moving buildings around. Because it'll flow better. So I like to keep my hunting lodge and my woodshed close to my resource storage only for the sheer fact that your hunting lodge also brings in leather and fur and so to me the hunter is going to walk the food to the food storage anyway may as well have them close to the resource storage because those are kind of the heavier items and so here we go yeah this is going to finish a lot of it it's looking like we need one two three four more logs so we need a maple tree's worth. So if I go this way, and it looks like there's one right there that we can go ahead and knock down, and that'll complete that build. So we're gonna 40, 20, 10. Well, I guess that would be zero, right? All right, there. And there. All right, so. We're gonna finish this strong. So here we go. There, 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 and there. Storage, resource storage one complete. So, Medieval Dynasty Let's Play number three. And as of today, our resource storage one is complete. I hope you like this and uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I post daily as of right now. And I did shorten up the videos a little bit, but that's okay. Just allows me to get more out if possible to you guys and get more content in them. So I'd like to thank you for joining me today. And keep it medieval people. Thanks.